In this tutorial, we're going to build like a leopard type space cosmos haze type of deal. And we're going to start out by adding a color wheel. Okay, so now we have our color wheel here. Let's plug it into our viewer so we can see what's going on. Again, excuse the colored dots that's from the PLE. So now what we want to do is we want to add what you call a radial. Okay, and if I click radial, it'll add it right in there. And you can see it's kind of just this um, white radial type of, of deal, just like a little blur, a white blur, okay? And on, with this radial, I'm going to connect a blur to it, okay? That adds a blur in there. And we can up our blur size a little bit. That's going to blur both our radial and our color wheel, okay? So now I'm going to add a transform node which is under this tab here, the first one, or you can hit the T key. And now we have a transform node and I can move things around. Okay, so now let's go ahead and add some effects to this. Let's add some under this tab here. Let's add some volume rays down here at the bottom. And as you can see, that's going to kind of give us a strange look. So what we want to do is I'm going to go back to my transform node here and let's move this around to where we can get just a little better of a a look here we want to move our make sure you move your radial along with things okay so we have this little dot here we can grab it and move it if you want and now as you can see what we're getting here we're getting a cool little effect and we can move our color wheel around and make it into it up here a little bit okay now we can go to our blur tab and you can make some adjustments with your blur tab if you want it to be less blurred or more blurred you can work on your radial. I'm going to turn the opacity for that radial down so it won't be quite so bright. Not quite so, you know, in your face. Up my softness a little bit, and there we go. Okay, so now here's what we got. So let's go ahead and work a little bit more with it. Let's go ahead and bring, let's go ahead and select our color wheel, Command C and Vent Command V to paste it. And um, to this color wheel, I'm going to add a glow. Okay, now as you can see, this is disconnected, so I want to connect it back in. Now to this new color wheel, I'm going to add a glow. I'm going to go to my tab here, say glow. And that's going to add a glow. And I'm also going to add some god rays. Okay. So let's find our god rays here. And now we've added some god rays in there. Now we want to add these two together. Okay, but before we add it together, I want to add one more node. Okay, and it is this Laplacian. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, Laplacian, and I want to add that in there. Okay, now I'm going to select my volume rays and hit the M key, and that's going to throw in a merge node. And I'm going to merge these A over B. And now, as you can see, I'm getting this ring here. Okay. So now let's go ahead and let's see what can we do here. Let's go into our node we just added and let's up the size a little bit to make it a little bit thicker. Now let's go to our God Rays node here. And let's just fool with it a little bit. Let's skew it. And we can scale it. And that's giving us a cool little ring effect, okay? So now let's go ahead, select our merge node. And let's see, what can we add here? I want to add a sparkle node under this tab here, under the draw tab. That will put a sparkle node right in there. As you can see, we have our sparkle right here. And I'm going to put it right up. Well, I'm going to leave it here for now, and then we can adjust it. So let's take the size up. Um, let's take anamorphic up a little bit. 
take our thickness up. Make our rays a little thicker. Thicker our ray and sparkle fall off. Our brightness, and you can make, adjust all this to taste. Let's take, let's change the color to maybe a purplish color, like so. And let's take our chroma spread out like this, and let's change our sparkle type to from rays to sparkle. Now let's take our little center dot here and move it up here. Okay, now we can put our playhead at the beginning. Let's set a keyframe for rotation. By clicking this button and setting keyframe, let's go to the end, frame 100, and we'll set the rotation to, I don't know, 720. And now, when we scroll through our timeline, these little sparkles that we've got here are going to rotate, okay? Now, it's completely up to you. As you can see now, I've completely taken away the radial, and it just leaves us with this. Okay. So let's make sure we put our radial back in there and take everything out here and put it back the way it was. Okay. So now it looks like we've got some oh, pretty good little display going on there. Let's go ahead and make a few adjustments here. Uh, ray length. We don't we don't want it to be quite as long. Um, quality. I want to make it high. And we can just adjust all this stuff. This is our gamma. Depends on how you want to make it. As you can see, it's making it more colorful, less colorful. The gain. Take it down. And you can get all kinds of looks that you're that you're really going for here. Okay. And now when you render this out, let me see if I got just a quick example here. You get this cool ignore the colored dots, okay, because that's just part of the PLE. And I thought this was just a really cool composite you can throw together just to get some neat little effects and results not a big deal super simple kind of cheesy but as you can see here it looks pretty good and um, it might help you get familiar with nuke a little bit more so throw you together a node tree here see if you can get you a cool little sparkle effect in space like this 